sana bir diye. Perdo. Hello, good evening everyone. Good evening teacher. Good evening teacher. Good evening teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Very busy. Pretty good. Okay, you are pretty good. I'm good. I'm very good. I'm very well. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's another option. Very good. So welcome to the class. Uh, let's start with a question about the platform. Do you have any question, any doubt about the platform exercises? Any problem on the platform exercises? Section one, section two, section three. No problems? Don't you have a question about the exercises and the evaluation there? Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me, Sara, what is your question? Este... Para este, para, para, man, para este viernes, ¿cuál, hasta, hasta qué avance deberíamos de tener? At least this section two. Section two or section three. And, Como um, no nos han mandado nada. Uh -huh. Okay, but in the, first, in the first two weeks, we have to cover section one, section two, and section three and take the midterm test in the first two week. In las primeras dos semanas tenemos que hacer la section one, section two, section three, and the midterm. Y el examen de medio Ooh. curso que también tenemos que completar. Okay. Para la otra semana, o del de week. Para Porque la... ahorita vamos a terminar una semana. Mm, ok, yes. Um, a week and a half, una semana y la mitad. A week and a half. So we still have Monday and Tuesday for the next week to complete the first three sections. Any other question? Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. My pleasure. Tell me. Uh, I have a problem in the section five. In section number five, in and, and the B complete conversation in the second part and the number three. Okay, just give me a second and trying to enter the but destruction. The following conversation is used per present continuum of the verb. I have a problem in the number three. Yeah. Over there. Let me see if I can help you right now. If no, we okay. can stay. We can stay so minute after the class, and we are going to see this. Mm. Yeah, give me a second. I'm trying okay. to enter to the platform section number five. You said right. Section yes. number five. Okay, I am here in section number five. Let me share it with you. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you see the web page? Yes. Yes, you see section number five, exercise mm -hmm. number. Final. Final exam. Oh, and the final exam. Yeah. Is it in the final exam? Give me a second. Man. The end it is no section five, it's the final test. Next. So let me see here. You are in the section four. Okay, in, in this one? Final exam, in the final exam? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you are almost to finish. Yes. Okay, now exercise number? Two. Yes, yes, in the second. Yes. Oh, 
Okay, and this one next the second is complete conversation. So complete the sentence with do, does, or no. does. No teacher. It's the the last one the exercise. The last Excuse exercise. Me. This one, the reading part. Yeah. Yes, complete conversation, say, and no. No, it isn't. This is the last it one. It, section, it, the course, section five, final exam, the complete conversation. Is this one, is the second one, is this. Complete the conversation. Oh, Complete the conversation. So in which exercise? Letter B. Yes, yes. Okay, now what is the problem? What is the problem? Can you tell me again? What is the problem? No. Yeah, in three. Um, no, I have right. Teacher. Yes? Uh, no teacher is different. Is it different? Because the, the different. Okay, let's see. Yes, yes. Is it this one, Luis? This is the final exam, exercise B. Yes. B complete the conversation, yes. Okay, in which exercise? In which exercise can I help you? In the part two. In the part two? Here is the part two. Yes. Part yes. two? Yes, this is. It's this a daily, is the, yes, this is. A, oh. in the second, it's that David over there. Who? Yes, I'm that right. David over there. His wedding. Oh, yes. then is who is? Who is he waiting who for? Is waiting who for. is he? Yes. Waiting. Who is he? Who is he waiting? Okay. Who is he? Let's see if it is correct. Is waiting. Okay. He is okay. He waiting. Yes. Okay. He is. He is. Yes, who is, teacher. Who is he waiting? Thank you. Okay, no problem. Anybody, okay. anybody has a problem on the platform okay. exercise? No? If you don't have any other question, then let's start with tonight's class. Today, we're going to see the topic, how much is it? Do you know the meaning of that question? How much is it? What is the meaning of that question? How much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta eso? Okay, we're talking about money. ¿Cuál es el precio de eso? ¿Cuánto cuesta eso? How much is it? So, welcome to the class tonight. Welcome to your class number five. And we're going to start saying prices. So, look at these prices. How do you read the first one, this one, in this part? How do you read it? How do you read the first one? $25. Dollars. $25. $25. Okay, this one. You say $25. Very good. What about the second one? This one. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95. $95
$25.88. Thank you very much. $75.88. And the last one, how do you read this price? $49.25. $49.25. Forty $49.25. Okay, excellent. So you can say $49.25 or $49.25. Very good. So do you like to go shopping? Do you like to go shopping? Yes, I like. Yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, what do you usually buy? ¿Qué usualmente compra? Um, I buy it in the supermarket, teacher. Out to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. So you buy some groceries, right? Groceries. The supermarket. Shoes. Shoes. Oh. Shoes and bags. Sandals, shoes, clothes. Bags. Bags. Okay. So let's Jinx. see. Jeans. Jeans. T-shirt. So look at this, what about this? Look at the picture. Papa motor. Do you like to buy these things, jewelry? Jewelry. Silver and gold things, like earrings, rings, necklace, bracelet. Do you like to buy these things? Oh, I don't like. No, not really. No, I don't like. Not really. Okay, so look at this sentence. They are perfect for you. They are perfect for you. This is more expensive. Oh, this is very expensive. Yes, very you're expensive. right. Okay, these kind of things or these kind of items are very expensive, right? Uh, let's listen to this conversation. It's a conversation between Steve and Maria. They are shopping in a year early. So let's listen. Okay. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey. Let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, now she is deciding, right? And she has um, a lot of options in earrings. For example, how many colors can you see? How many colors of earrings can you see in this part? Blue, yellow, yeah. and red. Okay, thank you very much. Blue, yellow, and red. So she has three options. And what about the necklaces? Yellow, purple, and light blue. Um, gray. Oh, and gray too. Okay, so she has option, right? So yeah. in this, we use the question, which? Which one? Which, which one? Oh, so it's como, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál de ellos? ¿Cuál which, which one? Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones. Eh, estos rojos. These red ones. I'm not so sure. No, the yellow ones. No, los amarillos. Oh, these. Mm, yellow. E yellow isn't a really good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one again? So look at this. Which one? Cual de ellos? She has option. The blue one. That blue one on right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. Deja que te lo compre. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. So listen again. Listen again to this conversation and then we're going to practice. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. 
How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. I need to volunteer in this park to practice this conversation. Who wants to participate? Any volunteer Me. tonight? Me, teacher, Alejandra. Me, teacher. Me, no, Me, teacher. Okay, let's listen Luis and Alejandra in the first round. Then we are going to have Noemi and one of your classmates. So Luis and Alejandra. Luis, you are Steve. Alejandra, you are Maria. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at those earrings. Maria, they're perfect for you. There's red ones. I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. That was a very good job. Thank you. Now, guys, how do you read this? How do you read this question? How much, how is, much it? is it? Okay. How much it is? Much is it? it is. It how is. much is it? Okay, excellent. It? Thank you. Let's go with the next thing. Oh, look. Okay. So how much is this necklace? Um, necklace. In the conversation, you saw these words, this and also this. Yeah. Really? And that, and also those. Let's look for them. Can you find those work in this? These, the these, one. that, those. In which sentence we can read these words? Look at the first one. Look at those. Oh, those. Look okay. at those earrings. Look at those earrings. Those yes, those yes, observa esos aritos. And then we can find these this, red ones. These yes. red ones. These red ones. These red ones. And we can see here that, that blue on right there. Yeah. And here we can find that too. So these words are called demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns, and they mean esto, esos, uh, eso, aquellos. But that is the meaning of this word. So look at this sentence. How much is this necklace? Look at this. This necklace. This. Están cerca, ¿verdad? They are in esto. hand. So this, estos, o oh, este, ¿verdad? How much is this necklace? ¿Cuánto cuesta, ¿Cuánto cuesta este collar? En singular. Yes, it's singular and the object is near. Es singular y el objeto está cerca. Sí. That necklace, now look the difference. That necklace, Eso. it's singular. Ese. It's a still singular, but the item is far. It's far from the person, so that necklace. That necklace. And look at this. How much is this one? So we use one uh, to change the name, right? Instead of saying necklace, you say, how much is this one? Cuánto cuesta este? How much is this one? Uh, how much is that one? Cuánto cuesta ese? And in plural, we are going to use how much are these earrings? How much are these earrings? This. How much are these? How much are those earrings? Now, los aritos están lejos. Right? How much are those earrings? ¿Cuánto cuestan esos aritos? And how much are those? Observen en plural, no podemos utilizar la palabra one. So we say this and those. But we are going to see the next example. By the end of this lesson, participants... Okay, demonstrative pronouns. So look at this example. 
Uh, this is an apple. In this sentence, the apple is near to the person who is speaking. It says, this is an apple. Esta es una. This is an apple. Okay, now the apple is far from the person. So that is an apple. Esa es una manzana. That's an apple. Let's see the next one. These are apples. These are apples. It's plural and the apples are near to the person. And the other one, those are apples. Those are apples. Esas son manzanas, ¿verdad? The apples are far from the person who is speaking. So let's come back to this. Then we have this question, which one? Which one? ¿Cuál? Verdad? Cuando tenemos opciones. When you have option, we use which one? The blue one. Uh, which ones? The yellow ones. Y con which sí podemos utilizar plural, ¿verdad? Which one significa que es. Eh, ¿Cuál, verdad? ¿Cuál? Estamos hablando de una sola cosa. Si decimos which one, estamos hablando de dos o más cosas en plural. Por ejemplo, acá estamos hablando de los earrings, que es plural. Then we use ones. Which one? The yellow ones. Then how much is this necklace? That necklace, which one? The blue one. ¿Cuánto cuesta ese collar? Uh, ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál collar? The blue one. El, el azul. It's $42. So let's listen this example. And then we are going to have another explanation. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Okay, now let's listen how to say prices in English, right? The first thing we have studied today, prices. So listen. This is $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As okay. you realized, we're talking okay. about the money. As you can see in this example, you can use these two ways to talk about prices. You can say just the number, $59.95. Or you can say $59.95. No problem with that. So let's go with this. We have already seen this, the most of the pronoun, this, that, this, and those. Remember this. This is for singular and the object is near. That is singular too, but the object is far. This is for plural. And when the object is near, and those is for plural too, but the object is far. So we are going to use this in this way. Now, what happened with one and ones? We use one and ones when talking about choosing or having more than one option. Look at this example. Is that your card? Is that your card? Then you say, which one? Eh, imagínense que en un parqueo hay muchos carros eh, y alguien le pregunta is that your car? and you say which one right? there are a lot of cars so which one the red one or the blue one eh, do you mean the red or the blue te refieres al carro rojo al carro azul so you say the red one oh yes it is it's mine it's my car so do you have any question Do you have any question until this moment? No, teacher. 
No, then I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation. I need to volunteer to practice tonight. I have a question. Thank you, Merita. Tell me, Cristian, what is your question? Um, ah, bueno, voy a decir en español porque no sé. Ahí dice que podemos usar one and once con ese. Pero yes. eh, no sé en qué, en qué oraciones podemos usar once con ese. Ah, ok. When we are talking about plural. Si acá en la oración dijera, are those your cards? Son esos tus carros. Then la persona diría, which ones? Which ones? ¿Cuál es? Let me write it. Hey, okay, thank you. Okay, is it clear now? Let's see if they are talking about plural things. For example, are those, are those, son esas, your houses, for example. Are those your houses? And then the person say, which one? ¿A cuáles te refieres? Which one? ¿Cuáles? Which ones? And they say, uh, those one, right? And then aquí sí podemos utilizar plural. Which ones? ¿Cuáles? Están hablando acerca de las houses. Plural. Is it clear now? Yes, thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank you for your question. So now Emerita and who was the another volunteer? Sorry. Mi baby. Okay, thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty and Merita. Can you please start, Betty, please? Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red ones. One. Yes, this is it. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see the other exercise here. Look at this, let's practice in this small conversation. Look at this, how much is this blouse? Oh, which one, the red one or the white one? The white one, it's 5688, sorry, 48. It's 5648. Any volunteer to practice in this small conversation? So in the sentence, how much is this blouse? La blusa está cerca o está lejos de la persona que está haciendo la pregunta? It's near. Oh, it's near, thank yeah. you. It's near, right? And then the other person say, which one? ¿Cuál? The red one or the white one? Significa que hay dos opciones, ¿verdad? Hay dos opciones, then the other person say the white one, la de color blanco. And then it say the price, it, $56 and 48 cents. Any two volunteers to practice in this small conversation? Me, teacher. Thank Me you, teacher. Emily. Emily and... Who we'll say me? me? Me, teacher, Sara. Ah, okay, Sara and Emily. Can you please start, Sara? Hey. Bien, empieza? Sara, please, you can hey. start. Okay. How much, how much is this blues? Which one? The red one or the white one? The wet, the, the wet wine. It's fifty-six dollars and forty-eight cents. Thank you very much. Okay. I want to listen in okay. this conversation. Yes, do you have a question? No? Uh, Brian, Brian, Steve, and also Ruth, Emilia, can you help me, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, how yes. much is this blouse? Which one? The red one or the white one? The white one. White it's, one. It's 86, uh, 48. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next example. 
how much are these bananas? Which one, the small ones or the big ones? The big ones, they are $2.75. So look at this again, two auctions, but at this time they are talking plural, right? bananas. How much are these bananas? Which ones? Uh, the small ones or the big ones? The big ones. They are $2.75. So in this, this equation must be in plural, right? And S is missing here. Let me see if I can write it now. So in this part, which ones? I need an S here in this part. So which ones? The small ones or the big ones? Any to volunteer to practice in this conversation? In this example? Me teacher, Oscar. Thank you, Oscar and? Me teacher, Emerita. Thank you very much, Emerita. So go ahead, please. Can you well, how much are these bananas? Which ones? The small ones or the big ones? The big ones. They are two dollar seventy-five cents. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see the other example. Question, question in this conversation. No question, let's go with the next one. Any volunteer to read this conversation? Me, teacher. Thank you, Me, Christian. Teacher. Christian and? You? Me, teacher. Thank you. So you can start, please, Christian. Okay, how much is this pineapple? How much is that pineapple? Excuse me? Which how much one? Is that pineapple? Which one? The yellow one or the green one? The yellow one. It's on sale. It's uh, for 35 cents. Okay, thank you very much. So how much is that pineapple? The pineapple is near or far for the people who ask the question? Okay. Near. Are you sure it's near? It's far. It's, it's far. far. Right, because it's, far. it's that. Because it's that. Let's see the last example. How much are those sunglasses? How much are those sunglasses? Again, right, we need here an S. I'm sorry for this mistake. We need an S in this part. Which went? How much are those sunglasses? Which went? The black one or the light blue one? So the black one. They are one hundred dollars to volunteers to practice in this conversation. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Me. Okay, Julia, can you please start? How much are those sunglasses? Which ones? The black one or the light blue one? The black ones. They are $100. Okay, very good, thank you. Dean, I have here another exercise for you. We are going to work on this part. We are going to complete using the demonstrative pronouns this, that, these, and those. So look at the first one. Let me see. Is the picture okay? Look at this. What is the correct demonstrative pronoun in the verb be form? Is or are in this? Is this my house? Okay, excellent. So, this kind of easy. 
Let me write the answer in this part. So you say is this, this is, this is my house. This is my house, very good. The next one, we got a next one. Cards, we have the word cards there. So look at this. What is the correct demonstrative pronouns in the correct form of the verb be to complete this sentence? Those are those are those are those are okay. Okay, let's write those are my card. Those are my card. Esos son mis carros. Están lejos, right? Those. In the next one. Look at the next one. Where's the picture? Here we go. So, what is the correct demonstrative pronoun? These are. These are mine. These are mine. These are. These are. These are my jeans. Are. Yes, this one correct. These are, are my jeans. My jeans. Okay, very good. These are my jeans. These are my jeans. And the last one. Look at the picture for the last one. That is. That is. That is. That is. That is. Smart, yeah, my smartphone. Okay, thank you. That is that is, is my, my, my smartphone. Okay, that is my smartphone. Is it easy or difficult to use the demonstrative pronouns? Is it easy or difficult this topic for you? Difficult. <laughs> Okay, some of you say it's difficult, some others say it's easy. Uh, Julia has to remember this, right? This is for singular, and the object is near. Uh, that is singular too, but the object is far, like number four. That's my smartphone. And this is for a plural, but the object is near, like yeah. sentence yeah. number three. And those, the it's plural, right? It's for a plural and the object is far, like the number two. Those are my cards. Any volunteer to practice reading these four sentences, please? Me, teacher Margarita. Thank you. You can start, please. This is my house. Those are my cars. These are my jeans. That is my smartphone. Okay, thank you. Any other volunteer to practice within this conversation? Uh, sorry, these sentences? Me teacher, Sara. Thank you, Sara. Uh, number one, this is my house. Number two, those are my car. Number three, these are my jeans. Number four, that is my smartphone. Thank you so much. Now we are going to have a practice, right? We are going to go to the break and rooms and we are going to practice. But you need to find three items, right? That are near to you. Look for three items, uh, whatever you want. For example, I have here my cell phone and also I have here my, my earphones, my earphones. So you have to look for three objects, can you please? And then we are going to practice. So I'm going to stop sharing. Look for uh, three items, right? Tres artículos que estén ahí cerca de usted. Eh, tres cosas que tenga ahí cerca, a pen, a paper. So let's see, for example, you are going to say, uh, this is my mouse. This is my mouse. This is my mouse. And then your classmates are going to ask, how much is it? 
How much is it? And then you are going to say the price. Let's see, for example, how much is this mouse? Uh, it's like $10, right? It's $10. And now these are my earphones. These are my earphones. It's plural, right? Earphones, it's plural. And this is my cell phone. And then you are going to ask question, how much is it? How much is that cell phone? ¿Cuánto cuesta ese teléfono? How much are those earphones? And how much is that mouse? We are going to, to ask an answer question. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Ok, ¿ya encontraron los artículos? Teacher, aquí no hay nada, dicen, aunque sea el gato, ¿verdad? This is my cat. Are you ready? Let me know if you're ready, please. Are you ready? Yes? Ok, let's start. Let's go to the breakout rooms. And we are going to practice saying prices and using demonstrative pronouns. Today we are, let me see, 27. Okay, you are going to have five minutes, five minutes to complete this exercise. See you in five minutes. Here we go. Two. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Carmen. Do you have a problem to enter to the breakout rooms? Oscar, Carmen? Hello, do you have a problem to enter to the breakout rooms? Hello, Carmen. Can I help you to enter to the breakup rooms? Hello. Hello, Carmen. Can I help you? Do you have a problem to enter to the breakout room? Recibió el mensajito para unirse a los grupos pequeños con sus compañeros.
teacher. Hello, Carmen. Es que del, el, tengo problemas con el internet y creo que me saca. Ahorita, permíteme. Ok, Carmen. Try, try again, please. Back. back, your back. Ajá. Falda. <laughs> Or backpack. <laughs> The second. <laughs> okay. How much is the laptop? I think it's seven hundred dollars. Okay. How much is that backpack. Uh -huh. I think it's ten dollar, maybe. Uh, I forget the another item. Notebook. Ah, not. <laughs> okay. Uh, how much is the not notebook? It's two dollars. And did you finish? Me? Yes, we yeah. already finished. Yes, okay, we finished. Okay, look at this. I have a hit. Uh, can you see it? This is What is this? What is the name of this item? Uh, bottle. Okay, it's a bottle of water, right? So this is my bottle of water. So what is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Usted tenía que hacer... How much is it? Uh, how much is it? Okay, in this case, we are using the most pronouns. Are you going to say how much is this bottle of water or how much is that bottle of water? How much is that bottle of water? Ah, okay, excellent. How much is that bottle of water? Now look at this. I have here some, some sneakers. They are sneakers. So these are my some sneakers. These are my some sneakers. What is the question you have to ask? How much are those? Uh -huh. Uh, those sneakers. Okay, excellent. How much are those? Are those sneakers? Okay, excellent. So see you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. So if you have some other items, you can practice, right? Let's see, for example, how much is it? Uh, it's a number. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Two dollars. Two dollars? Nah, that's too expensive. That's too expensive. How much is a notebook in El Salvador? Yes, two dollars. dollars. Really? Okay, I'm sorry. Es que como yo compro en el mercado, ahí me lo dan dos cuadras. Fifty cents. 50 cent. Okay, very good. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Thank you.
Hello, Daisy. Welcome to the class. How was your practice? Miss uh, I'm sorry, my mistake. Uh, okay, no problem. We have already finished with that activity. How was your practice? How was your practice? This is my class, glasses. Okay, uh, you say these are, these are my glasses because it's plural. These are my glasses. Yes, these are my glasses. That is the right sentence. Then the question is, how much are those glasses? How much are those glasses, Daisy? Mm, it's a uh, free under. Uh, okay. You say, can you repeat the price, please? Can you repeat the price? 300. 300. 300. Oh, they are expensive. 300. Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Now let's see. Um, this is my talk? pen. Ah, your pen. Uh, okay. How much is that pen? How much is that pen? It's a twenty-five cent. It's twenty-five cent. Okay, very good. Uh, can you show me some other item that you use in the uh, activity? Which other item? Show me one. Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Those are my sneakers. Okay. Those are my sneakers. How much are those sneakers? How much? $100. Oh, they are. But that's it. I'm going to say pluralism. They are. Uh, $100. Any other volunteer? Show me when I then. Mostrame un artículo de los que utilizaron. Jeffrey? Oh, okay. Jeffrey, can you show me your teddy bear? Ah, it's your dog. This uh, is my dog. Oh, that's your dog. That is a key. And she is invaluable. How do you say yeah. invaluable? Um, Without any price, um, uh, let me look for the word, invaluable. Or priceless. Oh, priceless, yes, priceless is the word, priceless. Thank you. So how much is that dog? How much is that dog? I just say priceless without any price, priceless. No tiene precio. Okay, let's practice. Just to finish the class, let's practice. I'm going to share with you this. And we're going to practice saying prices. So here we go. Are you ready? Let's see who can read these numbers first. Let's see. ¿Quién puede leer los precios más rápido? Are you ready? Let's see the first one. Okay. Here. This one. <laughs> Two hundred forty-five dollars. Two hundred forty-five dollars seventy seven cents. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Oh, sixty-seven. Sixty-seven cents. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Here we go. Okay, let's see the next one. Un artículo que tenga este precio, más o menos. ¿Qué hay de él? Una laptop. Computer, una laptop. Computer. Una laptop. Una TV. Ok. Estereo. Estereo. Smartphone. 
Oh, and it's marathon. Very good. A cow. What? A cow? Really? Yes. A cow. Really? Yes. No. The cow is more exp expensive. <laughs> It's oh. more expensive. It's a little bit more I have, expensive. I have cow. Is your value is a uh, two thousand two hundred? The price is two thousand. Yes. Two thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. Depend of the of the bread. Yes. Okay. Of course. Okay. Excellent. Let's see the other price. I didn't know about the cow prices, right? They are really yes. expensive, right? $2,000 for a cow. Debe de producir mucha leche. Eh, let's 45 see. little. Really? Yes. 45 liters. Yes. In the morning and in the afternoon. In the morning in the and, the, and two five per day. Oh, per day. Very yes. That's very interesting. Eh, let's see this. Okay, let's remember that we have to wait to read these prices. The first one is, in this case, is 80, right? 80. You say 82. 45. 45. This is the first one. And the other one, what is the other one? $82.45. cents. Okay, you say dollars and cents, right? You say 80, 82 dollars, 82 dollars. And you, you use this word in 45, 45 cents. Is it easy or difficult? I can see that it's kind of easy for you. Now let's make a review of the demonstrative pronouns. When I am going to use this? When I am going to use this? Este. Uh, for singular, singular near. Singular. Okay, very good. Singular, when the object near. is singular and it's near. near. When I am going to use this? Plural. 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 Near. 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 And the object is Far. near. 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 When I'm going to use that, that. singular, 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 far. Far. and the object is far. far. And those is the other one. When I'm going to use oh, those, is the plural, plural, plural. Far. 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 when the object is far, far. and the object is far. Yes. So, how do you say the same things? Eh, estos son mis zapatos. Y los tengo en la mano. These are my shoes. These are my shoes. These are my shoes. Are my shoes. These are my shoes. Very good. Is it correct? These are my shoes. No, sería eso. No, es. my shoes. Es. 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 So look at this the same equation. El sonido es más largo? Yes, in this we say yes. the sound is adequately this, this. And the other one, when we say uh, this, 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 it's like Z, Z sound, this, 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 this and, and this. Then you say quickly, this is. El sonido es más rápido, but this is. This is. This is. the other one, in plural, we say this. This is. Are. are. This are. So that's the difference in pronunciation. This is and these are. Any other question about tonight's class? No questions? No. Not yet, teacher. No question. No okay. question. Is it clear? 
Okay, so thank you very much for your attention and also for your participation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help during the class. So let me uh, remind you, please, about the platform. It is important that you complete all the exercises and evaluation on the platform, please, right? So if you okay. have um, some free time, please don't forget to go to the platform and install, uh, install a couple of exercises, right? So you are going to complete this little by little, right? And please don't wait. Don't wait until the last moment. No espere hasta el último momento, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerde que un día antes de que terminemos el módulo, tiene que estar completa la plataforma. El 80% es lo que nos solicitan, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros tenemos que obtener el 100% de esa plataforma. Si un ejercicio le, ha, le salió malo, ¿verdad? Porque se equivocó en una coma, en un apóstrofe, perfectamente puede regresar a la sección y completarlo, hacerlo bien. Y eso no le baja su nota, ¿verdad? So don't forget about that, please. So keep working on the platform. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. See you tomorrow, See you tomorrow teacher. teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Teacher. Hello, coming. Hello, Hello una pregunta. Um, Yes, tell me what is your question. ¿Qué tenemos que haber tenido de trabajado? Es la sección 2. Section 2. Section 2 for this week and for Monday and Tuesday, section 3 and the midterm. Ok. Vale, eh, para esta semana. Tengo un problema. Mande. Tengo un problema. No puedo o sea, terminar la sección 2. Ah. Por el último ejercicio en donde escuchar el, el diálogo. ¿El diálogo? Sí. Pero quizá voy a hacer la pregunta ahí en el grupo. Si gusta, la vemos okay. ahorita. Si tiene el tiempo, podemos verla en este momento. No, ok, ok. Está bien. Ok, vamos a la plataforma. Then I'm going to share it with you. Eh, you say section number two, right? Let's go to section number two. Section number two here is the last one. The last. Let's see what he said. Is it this one? 2.9 or 2.11? 11, okay, 2.11. So just wait a minute. So daily schedule, it's a listening. So listen to yeah. Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about the daily schedule. Yeah. Escucha a Rodney, Tina, y Ellen hablar sobre sus horarios diarios. Complete la información para cada persona. Eh, no ha podido darle play a listening. Sí, sí, pero no, yo me refiero en cuanto a las respuestas. La, eh, tengo cuatro respuestas que ya le intenté de, de todas las maneras y no sé qué es lo que tengo malo. Ah, ok, you tell me the number. ¿Cuál es el número? Eh, si no me equivoco, es el 6. Let's see number six. This is the answer in number six. She get up at 7 a.m. Okay. She goes to bed at midnight. Sí. No sé, quizás tengo un, algo mal escrito, alguna palabra, alguna letra. Ok. Una acelerado y igual a la, la, la 9. 
Number nine, flight attendant. Uh -huh. This is the answer, flight attendant. Mm, Tenga, tenga cuidado con los espacios extra. ¿verdad? Si le da un espacio extra después de la palabra. O si aquí, ah. le, dio, si aquí le dio doble espacio también. Está, yo tiene, creo que ahí el doble espacio me debe haber pasado. O no tiene, algún, tiene algún espacio al principio de la respuesta. Ah, ok. O lo okay. escribió sí, con una T también. Lo escribió con una T, puede suceder, ¿verdad? A letter is missing. No. No, pero que se voy a revisar los espacios. Teacher. Vaya, ok. ¿Y en cuál bien. otra? ¿En cuál otra, Carmen? Solo esas tres. Solo esas tres. Ok, bueno, si el problema persiste, me escribe en WhatsApp. Please. Ok, teacher. Ok. Teacher, thank you. Yes. 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 Este, hay una parte donde dice discussions, creo que es que dice discusiones, algo así, en la mm. plataforma. Uh, después de los videos, after the video, so in this uh, part. Ahí a, arriba, Ajá, no, ahí no. en the discussions, a mí me aparecen eh, un montón de comentarios, entonces es necesario hacer un comentario en esa parte. Y no es obligación, no es obligación, pero si usted quiere practicar en esta parte, you can do it. Ah, ok. Pero no es obligatorio, pero si usted quiere practicar, quiere añadir acá, entonces le da que añadir una, una publicación, discusión, aquí pone el título y aquí su pregunta o idea, ¿verdad? Ok, gracias. Y you say send. Le da a enviar acá y ya va a quedar aquí registrada su publicación. But it's optional. It's optional. It's not mandatory. Pero si quiere practicar, you can do it. Any other question? Oscar, Carmen, Crisia, do you have another question? Bueno, no se olviden del grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Don't forget about the WhatsApp group. We are there to help you. If you have any problem, just write on the group and we are going to happy to help. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Oscar.